Okay, uh, second attempt, and uh, let's get going. Part 12, the Let's Play. Uh, going to be loading from memory card 1. Let's see, last time we set off I was trying to put things on a statue, wasn't I? After I beat a boss. Beat a boss for a save point. Now, let's see where we go from here. Um, statue of a woman. And I know I can't uh, use anything here, so... No, I don't want to save. I just loaded. Okay, let's see where else we can go. Let's go back here. Is this door still broken? Run. No, the door is actually open now. Find a storage room. Ooh, cutscene. Hooray! Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe these treasures are in this monastery. Is that Montaigne's signature? Oh, that's Caravaggio. Unbelievable, truly. Have these treasures been forgotten? Treasures. If these treasures can be contributed to the Vatican, their value to Christianity is unquantifiable. What a discovery. Do you remember what this place is? It's not just a monastery, it was a prison. People were executed for fighting each other for supremacy. These treasures must have been taken from them. Soaked with curse and hatred. You'll be cursed if you worship those things. I'm a busy man that does not have the patience to teach you the importance of faith. But I will tell you why I found these treasures. It could only have come from the guidance of God. God sees all. He knows all. God. Creek, the converted. What about you, Ed? You seem a little more educated than she. I don't really care. Talk to me about monetary value. <laughs> Save the holy crap. Hmm. Seems I'm disappointed once again. I believe these dead thieves are better than you two. At least they appreciated true value. Instead of preaching, I want you to understand something, okay? You can't label those dead bodies as thieves hunting treasure. I saw plenty of dead women cut up and mixed in with the mummies. And they were pretty fresh. Yeah. Strange. Even if I were used to seeing dead bodies, I'd be vomiting. So it's that couple. Fools! How could such a kind and faithful couple be cold-blooded killers? This is the world of jealousy and greed! And pagans born of savagery, immigrants. I will not be a party to such abusive slander. This is, this is so unpleasant. Uh, James, you just don't get it. Oh well, let's continue on. See what's in the storage room. Pistol round. Anything else in here? What's over here? That's the... And another battle. Let's see. What is that jumping? Why does it have a knife? It's skipping. No, it's just hopping. And a bird. Weird. But okay. Uh, you're gonna have to forgive any actual slowdown here, it's because, uh, uh, I'm running a little bit too much in the background right now. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this won't, uh, become too big of a problem. Ah, oh, crap, the paper broke. I want to 
bird. It's gonna have to be weak against. It's not gonna be weak against the bird. The bird can't hit it. The bird's flying. It's probably weak against fire, but oh well. We'll figure it out. Slowly figuring out the battles with the most intensive, geographically intensive part of this, even though it probably shouldn't be. 13 AP? What? Oh, wow. What kind of high level magic does this thing have? Yeah, that definitely was not, uh. what it was weak against. Action, weapon. Go axe. You're <laughs> gonna move in front of the hopping thing. Punch it, James. Punch it. 16 damage. You need a more strength. Action. Magic. I think Geyser will work best against you. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, okay, that did a lot of damage. That is staying on that note a little too long. Okay, a little bit of strength. Mind, and then intelligence. Or no, and a piety. And I got another Dirk. Good. Okay. Uh, bow gun arrow? Sure, I'll take that. Is there a bow gun in here? No, I didn't want to go to that one. I'm gonna go out a door, I'm gonna go out the correct one. Is there anything else in here? Yes, I found a bowgun. Good. That is going to go to James. Because James needs something a little bit longer range. He needs to be a good, uh... Anything. Light pipe. No. That uh, doesn't help at all. Fire dirk or bowgun. One of one. Oh. What's in here? This. Can't look at it. Okay. And... Spider and the cockroach. Oh, it's a flea. Okay. Giant flea and a cockroach.
apologize until he got pushed back. I'm not going to use the bow gun arrow just yet. I'm going to wait. Let the cockroach come in. And this is why I put him in front of Kadoka. Action, magic. How many magics did I get? I didn't get any just yet? Okay. Um. Megalith on the roach. Because she's a badass caster. And it was Monolith, not Megalith. <laughs> okay. Well, hmm. Continue to check around the room for a little bit. No, nope, don't want her with strength. You can use all the strength you can get, and uh, let's put more into luck. Okay, um, just about does it for this room, um, and yeah, that just about does it for this uh, recording. So until next time, this was Let's Play Kadelka. I'm Thalman23, and good night.